What's good, y'all? Today I'm show you how to make better melodies. You know, by using the the scale highlighting on your piano roll. So I got SRX piano already loaded up. Let me show y'all first thing y'all want to do. Make sure y'all got it highlighted. Right click right here. Go to piano roll. Okay, cool. So next you want to go right here. This little arrow, go to view. Then what you want to make sure that's checked. Should be already checked, but if it's not, make sure that's checked. Then you want to go to scale highlighting right here. Now what you want to do is pick a scale. When you pick a scale, right click. Because if you left click, like you naturally do, normally do, the menu will go away. So make sure you right click. And I like to use minor right here, natural. Right click that. Sometimes I use minor harmonic. Rarely I use major, but you can use that too. Uh, and then right here, you want to pick your root note. So any root note you want. Sometimes I like F sharp, D sharp, but I transpose a lot. So, but anyway, you can pick your root note, right click on um, F sharp. We're going to go to F sharp. So as you see, when I was clicking, the, the highlights back here changed on the scale on the grid. So you can see right there, root note pops up now F sharp F sharp so now what you want to do is everything you click you can start with F sharp especially if you're a beginner I will start with the root note Then everything else you want to fill in you want to make sure it's in one of these highlighted areas in the light areas so as long as you keep everything in that light area then you're good so if you want to make a triad of course you just skip skip a note then uh, then uh fill in right here put a note right there then skip another note put a note right there but i'll go over that in a different tutorial but that's just how you create a basic triad chord but yeah if you want to you want to stay in these lines and then you can make chords you can make uh different melodies anything you just test it. i'm just randomly clicking just to show you how easy it could be and of course all this probably won't sound good but you could go back and adjust it you see i don't sound that bad either so see this note sounded off so just go back so not bad you know for sake of the video then I'm gonna drag this down. Just giving y'all examples on how to make easy melodies, make your melodies a little better. Drag those down so you get some uh, variation in your notes, deeper tone. Makes the melody sound more full. go up here you can do the same thing start with the root note as long as you stay in the highlighted area you can make a melody that easy you know, it don't get no easier than that. I'm put that on the mixer track. I already had that one used. Let's just go to four. Let's just say you want to put... Let's just go with some stock reverb. Let's go all stock. I know y'all beginners, so...
easier is that I mean you got other effects of course you can use whatever effect you want to use Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Let's keep it simple. Move another way, so let's cut that. Let's go back to piano roll now. Another thing you could do, show you guys now they got this new feature on the update, snap to scale. You could you could push it right here, snap to scale, or also that menu that I took you to. On um, view, scale highlight, snap to scale. You could put that right there. So now you can't mess up. So if you try to click in one of these darker areas, it won't let you. It automatically go to a highlighted area. So now it's almost impossible to mess up. So let's just say you wanted to do, you know, a little melody. Let's just go switch it up a little bit. Take everything I'm doing and use it, you know, in your own way. Something doesn't sound right, just push in another spot. Take these two notes right here, move them down. I mean, yeah, it's plenty of self explanatory, man. Uh, it's a lot more I could do. I'm trying to keep it real simple, man, just so you grasp the basic concept. I mean, it's an easy way to make a melody. Let's see, I can maybe do one more. Let's go in here, change the note one more time. Let's go. I'm in view. Let's go D sharp. Um, we'll do minor harmonic.
I mean, simple as that, man. Simple. Man, I'm just playing around here at this point, but I mean, you guys pretty pretty much got it. I just wanted to show you the scale highlighting. Another thing you can do right here, the bonus, click this. It's for y'all to stay in the video this long. I appreciate y'all. Transpose selected right here. Do semitones. You can do plus or plus or minus. So if you want to pitch it up, if you want to pitch it up, just do three. You know, you don't have to do a plus, just hit check. Pitch it up three semitones. Highlight it again. Transpose selected. You do minus five semitones. Now you're in C sharp scale. Pitch it up an octave. I like it down here. I mean, if you ever want to go out of the scale, just click right here, snap the scale, turn it off. Now you can click anywhere. As you see. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that, man. Begin the tutorial. Um, if y'all like the video, just hit the like button, comment, let me know what type of videos y'all like. If y'all want me to do more beginner type stuff or more just cook up videos to where I get into making, you know, real better melodies, um, just let me know. Signing out. Till next time.